Alright, this video is on Blaine McCrellius, aka Freak. This guy has threatened my life on multiple occasions over what happened to Miss Natalie and over what happened to Ken and Leah's. The police aren't going to do anything about this man, are they? We'll see. Just like the hundreds of people who harassed me, threatened me, and assaulted me over Alicia Bollinger because she wouldn't come forward. Because she wanted to hide from the truth. Ken and Leah, not liking my videos of course, will not stand up and face me like men, as you say it. Instead, they have people like Don Bird and Blaine McCrellius come after me. Ken and Leah Plunkett, or Ken Wilson and Leah Plunkett, are drug dealers. Ken works hard. He's got to supplement his money somehow, though, and he's got kids that he's got to pay for that lives elsewhere. Now, whether or not that's morally correct or not, it's still the truth. Blaine McCrellius, meth dealer. Calls himself Freak. And I was pretty sure that's what he went by. And I'm pretty sure that's probably in our messages somewhere back. But he's got like six or seven different profiles. That's something a lot of these web wing nuts wanted to pretend like I was a terrible person for. Like I had 50 profiles. No, I had three. When Natalie disappeared, I had one. One. That's this one, or that's my original Facebook. The one that I had other than that was the Guitarius Case one, which was to try to subtly and politely and kindly ask her to put a stop to this stuff. And then there was the Michelle Brannick one, which I made to destroy my Facebook before killing myself, but it didn't work. So I used it to try to get a hold of them and ask them again to call off the dogs. Now, all of this stuff, there's witnesses that are afraid to come forward. Witnesses who, well, I'd never done wrong. But they want to use public opinion because I called them out. Or they don't want to lose the friends that they get to see in real life. So they're not willing to come forward and be honest. These are all dynamics I knew I'd have to get to deal with. That's what happens when you're not allowed an honest day in court. That's what happens when you're a street person. People can do whatever the fuck they want to you. And when you go accusing people of the shit I was accused of, yes, yeah, street people come after you too. See, it doesn't matter what kind of a person I chose to be. There are just certain things that if you say them about a person, they'll never get an honest chance in life again. Maddie Boa should not have been spreading them rumors. Alicia Bollinger should not have been spreading them rumors. But Natalie Bollinger should have told the truth. The police, every step of the way, did everything in their power to prevent me from making a police report. Ah, oh, yes. Someone asking me for contact information to get a hold of that sheriff. I like that. A lot of people asked me... Who to send this information to? Until now, I didn't fucking know. Like, I send it to my attorneys, send it to the courts, send it to... I mean, fuck. I don't know. With my public pretenders not willing to look at the evidence I got, I mean, shit. What else do I have going on, right? Anyway, Blaine McCrellius, Leah Plunkett, and uh, Ken Wilson, I am still coming after you in court. Blaine, you added yourself to the list by threatening my life and then threatening me for Ken and Leah. How about you mind your own business, son? You're twice my size and I'll still school you, son. You know where I'm at? I told you. You want to send the police my way like you threatened to do? Fine. You want to come and harm me yourself like you threatened to do? Fine. 
You're a bitch, Blaine.